Hey there, Freedom Fighters. I'm back with another one. Alright, I've been waiting to make this video. I'm sure you guys heard what happened a couple weeks back in Utah with a guy named Craig Robertson. And uh, I guess you would call him a MAGA supporter or something like that. And he was speaking some unfortunate truths about our government and the situation we find ourselves in. And he also made some comments that uh, I won't repeat here that he shouldn't have said, but you can look into it. Well, it ultimately met to his, to his demise. They took him out. Uh, they lit him up like a Christmas tree. I think they shot him 30 times and then drug him out in the front yard to show the neighborhood and send a message to the community what happens when you go across the against the regime. But uh, yeah, a lot of uh, other channels picked up on this and, and they didn't have to go about it that way. Um, he was a 70-year-old disabled man, but... Um, I've been thinking about it, and I sat on it and let it stew. You know, I've been really busy the last couple weeks, so I've just been thinking about it. And it made me think of this old video that Mike Glover did. And so I went back and watched this video, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a like a talk on that topic and also make like a Mike Glover call-out video. But the video is called, I'm Not a T-Word. Um, and he did this on Fieldcraft Survival uh, as one of his channels. He also has a Mike Glover channel. Um, and he made some other group or something. He does a couple different things. But he basically goes into, I'm not a T word. And our organization doesn't stand for this. And, you know, can you believe that they're calling me this? And I was like, man, how did you not know that this was coming? Like, this was the plan all along. And I knew from the get-go that this was going to happen. I mean, when I made my channel back in 2015, 2016, during the election, and when I saw Trump first run, and we were pushing the establishment to the wayside, and I saw the populism rising and all that, I knew you know, we're, we're going to be declared enemies of the state. They're, they're not going to allow this to happen. We're all going to be declared uh, DTs, and they're pretty much going to hunt us down. And little did, I mean, I was surprised that he won and all that, but it's still, the, the con same conclusion is coming. And when I made my name, I was like, you know, one man's freedom fighter is another man's T-word. So I knew, it, I knew this, that's what was going to happen. And, you know, there was a running joke going on around that time. Once the, uh, they installed their puppet. Um, and once Biden got in and the coup was official, a lot of these channels, uh, Constitutional Patriot or whatever, turned into Fishing Dad 1984. And uh, Minuteman Militia and all this turned into Joe's Garage. And then they started doing car videos and stuff. Um... But yeah, I mean, I guess it's, uh, you know, I am whatever you say I am. In the paper, the news, every day I am. I don't know, it's just the way I am. But yeah, um, I mean, I knew that was coming. And did you see this extremist pyramid that they came out with a little while ago? Where uh, I'll link it. But yeah, it says... You're a level one extremist if you watch Fox News or you're part of the GOP or what is that? The uh, Republican elephant, the RNC. Uh, you got the Conservative Union and the Heritage Foundation. I mean, these are the most like lightweight conservative positions you can take. So like even if you're a notch to the right of center... You're pretty much a DT. And you notice how they don't have uh, the Lincoln Project or whatnot on here. Because that's what they say. That's acceptable Republicans. That's what a real Republican is. Um, anything else is extremism. You know, even Fox News and the RNC is too extreme. 
you got your level 2 DTs, which are MAGA supporters, and, uh, what is this? They even got a Back the Blue Punisher skull on here. So even if you're a bootlicker that worships the state, uh, they still declare you a DT. I mean, how, do, how does that even make sense? They got Prager U and Turning Point USA on here. I mean, those two should have been on number one. I mean, those are like, again, some of the most milk toast. You know, Turning Point USA is a bunch of college kids, a bunch of moderates that are just somewhat rebelling against all the craziness. But still, I'm like, and Charlie Kirk is a cook. And Charlie Kirk is weak. And I, I think they just didn't have enough room in the one level, so they just bumped them up. But you got uh, the Proud Boys, which somewhat makes sense. That's why they're pushing all that, uh, trying to get you know them for treason charges and all that. 3% militias, stuff like that. Level 3, you know, you got your uh, swastikas and... I don't even know what some of this other stuff is. You have a, a Kekistani flag. For you guys who don't even know what that is, that is a, a joke. That is a literal meme. Uh, when you see those frog memes, um, I th his name's Pepe, Pepe the Frog. All those like political frog memes, that's Kek. And so, if you're like a meme pusher, or you make memes, you're a level 3 DT. And then you got your level 4s. And I don't even know what this is. Uh, you got like a nuclear sign. So like, I don't know if you're trying to go nuclear or something. Maybe like if you're Putin or uh, Kim Jong-il. Um, you got some kind of gear sign here. And I don't even know what this other stuff is. So I guess I'm not that cool. Not cool enough to know about that stuff. But, um... Yeah, then they had that leaked document from the, uh... DOJ or something one time. And I think that's what this video was about. It came out with a certain amount of terms and... Certain organizations they said were, uh... You know, extremist groups. And he was listed in it. But, uh, they had a hearing on this, too. With, uh, Christopher Ray. And uh, Ted Cruz said something about um, the Texas Alamo flag was in there. The come and take it flag. And I think he said, like, I'm flying this in my office. Uh, you know, I'm a Texan. Like, this makes you an extremist? And, and sayings like, don't tread on me or liberty or death. I mean, I guess that was a revolutionary back act back in the day. I guess it still is today. Saying that you're either going to be free or you're not. And, and you'll fight to the death to remain free. I mean, we have a state in our union. Uh, New Hampshire is the live free or die state. Um, but, you know, these are the things that founded our country. Wild and free men um, refusing, you know, to be stepped on. And, and that's the problem. That's what's getting in the way of their plan. You know, to enslave you and your children. And then he admits that he snitched on his members. He was a fed snitch. And I'll link the video. Um, you know, I recommend you go watch it. And he says, oh, I work real closely with the feds. And, you know, whenever I did see extremism in my group, uh, I reported them. And, and we made sure that, you know, we weren't this extremist organization that, you know, they call. And, uh, you know, where are these guys at now? Uh, I wonder if we can get a, a FOIA request and say, what did Mike Glover, who are the people that he uh, requested get looked at? And then what did they do with those people? Are they in a gulag now? Are they, uh, or did they get the Craig Robertson treatment? Did they uh, light them up like a Christmas tree? Are they six feet under the ground? Uh, we'll never know, but it's because of Mike Glover. Um, 
you know, just because they figured it out before you. Uh, you know, they figured out the tyranny is already here. And, uh, I mean, uh, and here's the disclaimer. Is we, you know, we do not support, I do not support, incite, encourage any illegal and lawful actions. So don't go do anything and tell them I told you to do it because here I am telling you not to. And I don't know what these people were saying they wanted to do. But they probably came to the conclusion that, you know, it's done. It's over. And while I don't, you know, I never condone offensive actions, it's always defensive. The defense of yourself, your country. Um, and if they said, like, look, you know, our, our country is literally being attacked and they figured out, you know, it, it's time to defend this country. Well, then you stop them from doing so. And it's because at the end of the day, people like Mike Glover, uh, they're, they always are and they always will be forever loyal to the boot. And these people who, you know, are in the military and stuff, and I have friends in the military and, um, you know, uh, usually I'm only friends with people who realize their mistake, who understood what they were doing. But you have these ones who are super proud of their service that and they're always they're they're always loyal to them. And it's almost like someone on the football team. Um, you know, let's say you're a Pittsburgh Steeler fan and you get someone from another team like whatever Detroit Lions. And he's been a longtime player for the Detroit Lions he played for eight years, super good. He's having a Hall of Fame career, and he gets let go, and you pick him up. And he's playing for your team, but whenever they interview him, he's talking about the Lions. And it's like, hey, man, you had a really good game today. And he's like, oh, yeah, this, this reminds me of the game I had back in 2017 with the Lions, where I racked up like 150 yards, and I did this and that. And then when he retires, he goes and, you know, broadcasts for the Lions or holds some kind of podcast for the Lions. And you can tell he was always a Lion. He, he never became part of the Pittsburgh Steelers. In, in his heart, his heart was always with the Lions. And that's what I'm saying with these guys, man. They're always and forever will be loyal to the boot. And here he is in this video basically pleading to his daddy, his government. No, not not me. I'm not a T-word. And he says in this video, the reason he formed this group was to combat real extremists, which he says are BLM and Antifa and stuff like that. Well, did, did you not realize that is who your government is now? They are BLM. They are Antifa. Everything that you were fighting against that you thought you were you were fighting for. And again, the IQ must be too low. He couldn't put it together. His other guys put it together, but then he ratted them out and snitched on them. And then, uh, you know, once it comes to his doorstep, uh, no one's going to be there to fight for Mike Glover. Because all the Mike Glovers ratted out the uh, Craig Robertsons, you know, and the Lavoy Finnicums and the Bill Coopers and the long list. And he's worried about being looked at as the enemy. Uh, and he doesn't think he's the enemy, but they view you as the enemy. They hate you and your freedoms. They're, they think they're the problem. Because you didn't take the Kool-Aid. Because you didn't wear the mask. Because you didn't get injected. Because you refused to disarm. Because you put God first above the state. You are the T-word. To them, you are the T-word. We are. We are freedom fighters. And God, God bless everybody. And, you know, I'm going to leave it on that. Please like and subscribe. And you know what I always say. Um, you know, we are on our own. No one's coming to save us. Get right with God, because only God can save you. Freedom Fighters out.